everyone! Today we are going to be taking a look at the latest Windows Insider build. So this is build 22000 and so obviously we have this new UI here and so we will be taking a look at many things in this new build. So let's start off with the start menu. So we have this new start menu here. We have live tiles gone and so it's like this and then we have recommended so it will give you your recent documents here. If you are editing like a Microsoft Office document or something it will be here. And then we have this new app called get started and so we have this right here and so if we click get started here it says, it says hi Fortnon so we will click get started and so it will it will give you stuff here and you can scroll through here and it just lets you know about about all these new features and all these kind of stuff and so we can just scroll through here and so then we have our tips app that it's letting us know about anyway if we close that we can see our taskbar icons are now censored and so that is a thing that I think looks better everything's at the center right here and then we have new icons right here but first let's take a look at our taskbar icons so if you don't like them centered you can align them to the left you just right click click taskbar settings and then you can align them to the left and so to do that we can do taskbar behaviors and then we can change these from center to left and so I'm going to change it back to center because that's how I like it but anyway if you want that that's how you do it and then so the next thing is rounded corners on apps and our new file explorer so we have rounded corners on apps like this this is on all apps and so we have you know a refreshed visual experience throughout the whole entire OS and so we can see we have our new file explorer instead of that old ribbon thing we have this new panel right here I like this a lot better it looks you know simpler to navigate and then we can just click the hamburger button if we want more options anyway so we have that this is our new file explorer here in the latest build we have obviously this new wallpaper and I will show you dark mode and such in a second but anyway, we have down here, we have our control panel for different things. And so we can see our Wi-Fi, our Bluetooth, our airplane mode, our battery saver, and more. Right here, we can adjust our brightness and volume right here. And so, yeah, there are several things here. We can see our battery level. And then we can also edit this. So we can edit our quick settings right here. Anyway, so then instead of the action center we had before, this also has some of that stuff. We have these new things. So it has a calendar here and then we have notifications up here. So if you get a notification, it will go up here. And then we have the show desktop button right here. It is now far less obvious and you can also turn that off using the same taskbar settings area I showed you earlier. And so we have this new search feature right here. We have a new task view right here and it doesn't have the timeline like it had before but that is our task view and then we have widgets right here and so let's take a look at some different modes so what I will do right here is themes and related settings and so let's click on that to open it up in settings and then we can change our themes right here. So if we choose a different theme right here, we have the dark version of the same thing. So that is looking quite nice and hopefully this will refresh soon. Let's just redo that. Hopefully in the more stable builds, we will be able to have that right away. But yeah, that has refreshed now. This looks a little misaligned here, but keep in mind this is not the the final build yet. And so we have these other ones right here. We can see something like that or like that. They have multiple images. That. And we have this one finally. So I'm going to turn it to this right here like that. Okay, so now let's take a look at some more things. Okay, so now let's shut these down and we can start it up and see the new stuff right here. So we can use this power option here and let's restart the PC. And so as we are restarting, we can see this now has a black background here. We could probably change that, but that is how it is by default.
and we have a new startup sound right there. I don't know how you well you heard that. Anyway, we are to our brand new lock screen, which has the time more centered at the top. And so if we press our spacebar, we can enter in our password here. And then we're back to our desktop. And so there is a new out of box experience. If if you know you're you're installing this on a new PC or if you are, you know, buying a new PC and getting it anyway on a fresh installation, it will give you that. But I upgraded this from Windows 10. So we have our new settings app and a new layout and everything like that as you saw earlier. And then we also have Teams integration. But apparently that is not installed by default, but it will probably be if you are doing a fresh build right here. So there is a new Windows logo right here. And so it's on our start menu and it's just our new Windows logo in general. And so we have that and then we have a new Microsoft store and it can also run Android apps. And we will likely see lots more apps in it, like maybe even Google Chrome and apps like that might come to the store because you can submit just regular packages. It doesn't need to be, you know, the special kinds of apps that you normally can put in the store. And so I haven't tested the Android apps. I may make a separate video on that. But anyway, that is that. And so also another thing, when you open up an app, there is a new animation. And then say you were to minimize these, it kind of bounces there. And then when we pull it back up, we just have new animations across the OS. And so also if we hover over our maximize button, we can see we have our snap grid right here. So we can choose one of these. So say I want to snap it to this side, I have that. And let's open up some more apps. So we will do these. Then let's bring up Notepad. Okay, so Notepad doesn't have a dark mode. I just noticed that not everything does at the moment. Anyway, if we do these, for example, then we have other options right here. And if we had another app, it would give us an option there. But it is just a nice snap grid. And then also, if you plug it into another screen, you get the snap grid arranged on that screen. You unplug it and plug it back in. It's all back how you had it. You don't need to try to go and organize everything again. So as you can see, we have a new file explorer icon. And so we have, you know, several, several things like that. It's just, you know, overall, I don't know, it's, it's, it's a big UI change. Anyway, so there are some more things that we will be taking a look at. We can do performance testing. Anyway, so I'm going to go to the browser and just see how this performs. I haven't tested this yet, but that loaded actually really quickly. And so I don't know if this is a new feature. i have used in Microsoft Edge Dev, but there are tips right here. Anyway, so let's head over to my channel. And it seems to be loading pretty good. So I'm glad to see that performance seems like it's really good. So we will do some testing with that later. Anyway, so yeah, that's that's about it for today. If I think of anything else, I will have another video. But until next time, we will see you next time. Subscribe and like for more videos like these. Uh...